everyone, this is Rin Rambles. Hi! Um, Rin Rambles, let's explain a few things first of all. Um, one of the problems with Rin Rants, at least in terms of actually creating the stuff, is that it gets really hard to be topical because I make the stuff and then suddenly three, three pieces of news just comes up and I'm going like, oh, well, that's out of date now. So what Rin Rambles is going to be is essentially just a vlog. Essentially, whenever something pops up on the interwebs and that kind of comes into my wheelhouse, I just go talk about it. Um, one of these things now is DC. DC again, yay! Yeah, I know. D I talk about DC a lot, a lot negatively. I understand that. I am, I really am trying to get out of that box because I know how boring it gets. But there's just so much to talk about. There's so... and it, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. Whereas Marvel, yeah, you get those bits and pieces of stuff that I could talk about. But they seem to be doing okay. They seem to not be not be annoying me as much as DC tends to do. So, yeah, it, it, it's just one of those things. Now, one of the, what has just popped up with uh, DC is a rumour about essentially the mandate, the kind of tone they're going for with coming off of, of Man of Steel into <sighs> Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I still can't believe that's the actual title. I was not joking when I said I could make a rant, just based on that title alone, because that just speaks so, so much about what they're doing with it. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. One of the mandates we've had with Batman v Superman and with all of the movies coming off of that is no jokes. That's what we've heard. Now, that's just a rumour. That might be wrong. But, yeah, no jokes seems to be what they're kind of going for. I find that weird. Now, I do get it on a... Um, I do get it on a wider... Ri nah, let me think. I get what they're going for, really. I do. Because Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has tended to be on the jokey side. I mean, if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, which you should, it's really, really good. It's not the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's not the best. It's really good. Not the best. But, yeah, if you look at Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man 3, 4, yeah, 4, The Avengers, they have a very jokey movie. There are a lot of jokes and a lot of humour in it, which helps, I feel. It helps because you're de what you're dealing with here is completely unrealistic scenarios, completely out there, and humour does help that. But I do understand DC not wanting to do that because Marvel's already doing that. You, They really have to separate themselves like, we are a separate entity, we're not Marvel, we're going to be doing our own thing. And I'm cool with that. I really am. I just don't want it to suck. <laughs> I really don't. Because as much as I big up Marvel all the time, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fanboy. I'm really not. I really do love DC and I really do love the characters that they have. I want it to be good. I really, really want it to be good. It just hasn't been for a while, in my opinion. Man of Steel wasn't good. I thought it was good, uh, which uh, Johnny, Messenger Johnny, uh, co-founder of Lions and Bowties, will, will attest to that. I tried really, really hard to like that movie. And I didn't like that movie by the end of when I really thought about it. It, it wasn't very good. And 
one of the reasons it wasn't very good to me was that it was really dull. It was really... We are, this is serious, this is important stuff. And if you're gonna do that, do that. But you gotta be good at it. You actually have to have something to say about the character or about whatever, whatever the theme is, which Man of Steel just could not back up at all. And that's one problem I find with this whole no joke scenario kind of thing. The other is, I'm not entirely sure you can really do that unless you're cutting out quite a lot of DC. Even DC compared, you, you thought like, you thought, oh, Marvel is crazy with the whole, they've got a raccoon with a machine gun. That, that's, that's nothing. That is nothing. Look up DC stuff because, whoa, boy. Yeah, it, there is, there is no, if you cut that out, you're cutting out a big part of DC's, the DC Universe's soul, really. And it's a lot of just weird, silver agey, what is going on, who fought this stuff up, stuff that goes into DC. DC much more than Marvel. DC, at least it used to before the new 52 ruined everything. Is that, is that a controversial statement to say that, these, that the New 52 has screwed up? I, I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, it used, to, it used to be for a younger audience, or at least its concepts seem, would attract a much younger audience. Marvel, one of the great things about Marvel, because back in the 60s, it used to be that, that comic books were literally, superheroes were literally, it was just kid stuff, which it still is. Let's let's not beat around the bush here. Com superhero comics are for kids, and that's something that I find a lot of creators and fans, maybe more the fan side of things, really struggle with. It's for kids, okay? It is. The, no, no. Just yes, Watchmen. Yes, Batman: The Dark Knight Returns. Yes, a whole lot of stuff. But let's not beat around the bush here. In DC, there is Crypto the Super Dog, Beppo the Super Monkey. It's a monkey with all the powers of Superman. That is a thing that exists, and you can't know. Don't go, yeah, but they. No. Com superhero comics are for kids. Okay? Good? Great. Yeah, so. Yeah, this whole no joke. Thing. Yeah, because it's for kids, really. And I, I remember being in Guardians of the Galaxy of Fear. You see all those little kids saying, "Oh, I'm I'm Groot and I'm Raccoon." Cool. It was it was adorable. It really was. But yeah, they kind of have that. Whereas if you're going to go for a more mature audience, you're going to be cutting that out. The Dark Knight. As much as I love that movie, as well as pretty much everyone else on the planet. The Dark Knight is not for kids. It's not for kids at all. It's... I'm shocked that it's only rated 12 over here. It's only rated 12? Really? That R rating system is broken if The Dark Knight is rated 12. That's a 15 rated movie. I don't care how much nun blood they show. That's a 15 rated movie. I would not show my kids The Dark Knight. They have nightmares. But I was going with I was going somewhere with this. Um, the point is, DC has always been on the kiddie side of things. And if you're going for no jokes, if you're going for a really grim, serious tone, I'm not sure that works. I I just don't I don't think it's built in. Like, Marvel's is built in. Marvel, you can go really dark because that was one of the big things with, with Marvel Comics in the beginning, is that they kind of, they went for teenagers rather than children, which means they can have these kind of angsty characters and these, these real 
like the thing, the thing from the Fantastic Four. His whole deal is that he wants to be human. He wants to be normal, but he is, and he's this grotesque rock monster. And so, and you have the Hulk, whose entire thing is that he has really, really bad anger management issues. And so they, it's all built in, so you can all kind of, they can kind of go wherever they want, whereas DC is tend to go for more mythic, more, more black and white kind of characters. Superman is a really black and white character. Batman even is quite black and white, at least in the time, in the least, in the threats that he faces. So, I don't think it'll work. It just, I get why they want to do it. I just, I'm not sure it'll work. And not to mention, you need that kind of levity. If it's just darkness and grimness, it gets boring. It gets tedious. And it's not built in for DC. It's not built in for superheroes in general. Superheroes are power fantasy. In the, they are power fantasy. They're in. They you can fly. You can shoot laser beams out of your eye. You can be this strong, this fast. And so when you kind of drag it down, it feels a little weird. Even some of the darker stuff, um, Captain America: The Winter Soldier which is probably the darkest of the Marvel movies so far. And I, I'm sure you can debate on that, but I, I'd say so. Even that, it's still a very power fantasy with Captain America being the ideal hero. We're going to fight for freedom and we're going to go for it. So, you can go dark, but you, can't, you need that idealism. Even the Dark Knight is, while real... It's real compromised idealism. By the end of it, they kind of go, yeah, Batman will be hunted and he'll have to take the blame. He'll have to take on everything, but he can do it. He is that strong. He is, he is that good. And so, if you but if you're going for no jokes, that's a really, I, I think you're kind of, missing the big problem. Write the characters as well as you can before you go for that kind of stuff. And if you're and if you're saying, oh well, Christopher Nolan's kind of Christopher Nolan didn't really go for jokes. The Dark Knight saga if, if can we call is it a saga? I guess it's a saga. The Dark Knight trilogy, if you will, has quite a few jokes in it. The Dark Knight is pretty funny. Um, the Joker is very funny horribly darkest of humor funny, but he's still funny. So, I don't know, I, I don't see what they're going for with this. That's, I think that's my biggest problem with it. Now, of course, this is just a rumor. We don't really know, but, you know, we'll, I guess we'll find out. I guess we will see if it succeeds. <laughs> From what I've seen, if Man of Steel is the first, then yeah, I might have a problem with that. But again, you know, positivity, positivity, we can, I'm sure they can work it out. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the first Ruin Rambles. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any, um, if you have any questions, any topics that you want for either Ridden Rants or Ridden Rambles, please put down in the comic sec the comment section below. Um, please like the Lions and Bowties Facebook page. Um, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. And I'll see if I can keep this going. Alright? So, have a good time. This has been Reardon Rambles. See you next time.